Good morning, ESM. Today is Monday, September 21st. It's the day four, and it is the first day back for seniors in Group B. So let's make it a good one, and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. After more than 27 years as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away at the age of 87 from pancreatic cancer on September 18, 2020, a fighter to the end. Justice Ginsburg battled cancer and other very long odds throughout her remarkable life. She spent a lifetime flourishing in the face of adversity before being appointed a Supreme Court Justice, where she successfully fought against any sort of discrimination. Ruth has proved time and time again that she was a fighter battling through it all. May she rest in peace. On Friday night, the Onondaga County Health Department issued a boiling water order. They found E. coli bacteria in water after the town of DeWitt ran several tests. Most of Janesville DeWitt school districts will be impacted by the boil water advisory once they return to school. After JD Superintendent Peter Smith consulted with the health department, all schools will remain open with precautions to prevent students from ingesting any of the water. This means that all water fountains will not be used. Bottled waters will be provided to schools, and after going to the bathroom, students will need to use hand sanitizer. For safety, parents need to give water bottles to their children before going to school. The weight room is reopening on Monday, September 21st, today with social distancing restrictions. If you want to use the weight room before or after school, you must make a reservation. Walk-ins will not be allowed. Join the weight room Google Classroom to make reservations or see the rules. The join code is 4RYVMM2. If you have any questions, email Mr. Eschbacher at mshbacher at esmschools.org. Welcome back students. If you are interested in running for student council, if you are interested in running for student council, then please pick up an information packet in the large cafeteria. They can be found on the large desk as you are exiting the cafe. You can also request an information packet digitally by sending an email or Google Hangouts message to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. Juniors and seniors, sign up for virtual college visits on Naviance. After signing up, you will receive a link to join the college visit. Visits will be virtual and will start at In Syracuse's 21-10 loss to Pitt, Syracuse quarterback Rex Colbert threw his first touchdown since being diagnosed with cancer in 2018. Syracuse is now 0-2. In golf news, U.S. golfer Brian DeChambeau won the U.S. Bison DeChambeau, sorry, won the U.S. Open last night with a final score of 274. In NBA news, the Denver Nuggets played the LA Lakers last night. The Lakers beat the Nuggets 105 to 103 with a three-point shot at the last second by Anthony Davis for the win. Thank you. It was a mess. NFL news: The NFL played 14 oh, games this week. Rams the Rams beat the Ravens. The Ravens beat the Texans. In Sunday Night Football, the Seahawks beat the Patriots. Sunday Night Football, the Seahawks beat the Patriots. And Newton was stopped on the one-yard line by the Seahawks defense. And I'm Tom Lee Sports. I don't know.